In this video, we're going to look at how to measure and display useful data on the scope. I will also be using two channels in this video. That way you guys can see what it's like to work with both channels. Don't worry if you're following along with one channel. All the steps will be the same. Okay, let's head over to our signal generator. For the second signal, I'm going to use a sine wave with a frequency of 2 kilohertz and an amplitude of 2 volts peak to peak. Once it's connected, go ahead and press the auto button. Both of the waveforms will be shown together on the screen. The yellow square wave is from channel 1, which is indicated here and the blue sine wave is from channel 2. To display useful data, you're going to want to click on the measure button. This will bring up the side menu here. Pay attention to the channel that you are on. Currently, we're measuring properties of channel 1. Okay, let's measure something. I'll go to voltage and choose Vmax. That measurement will be displayed on the bottom here. The number 1 in the parentheses and the yellow color tells you that it's from channel 1. Other voltage properties include V min, V peak to peak, V top, V base, and much more. You can also measure time properties such as period and frequency. The measurement will be added to the bottom of the screen. You can display a maximum of three measurements on the screen. Okay, let's go to channel 2 now. When you already have three measurements displayed, the next one will shift everything to the left so that way the first measurement is gone. To clear the measurements, click on the clear button here. Finally, display all will display all of the information for that channel. To display this for channel 1, just switch to channel 1. Okay, well that concludes this video on displaying measurements. In the next video, we'll look at how to use cursors. I'll see you then.